Jungasaurus versus Oxalaya. Is Hannibal the cannibal versus the African deity? Yes, Majungasaurus is one of the few confirmed dinosaurs with cannibalistic tendencies. One of the bad boys of the Cretaceous period. Noxalaya is a poor man's Spinosaurus, named after an African deity, Oxala. I picked him because Spinosaurus is simply too massive for Majunga to handle. Oxalaya was a genus of Spinosaurid dinosaur that lived in what is now Brazil during the Cenomanian stage of the late Cretaceous period, somewhere between 190 million years ago. Although Oxalaya is known only from two partial skull bones, Kellner and colleagues found that its teeth and cranium had a few distinct features not seen in other Spinosaurids, including two replacement teeth in each socket and a very sculptured secondary palate. But basically, it's a Spinosaurus, but smaller. Majungasaurus is a genus of abelosaurid theropod dinosaur that lived in Madagascar from 70 to 66 million years ago, at the end of the Cretaceous period. The genus contains a single species, Majungasaurus, Crenatissimus. It mainly preyed on Raptosaurus, sorry, Raptosaurus, and itself. But who would win in a fight? Well, let's find out. For some stats Oxalaya. Height, 4 meters. Length, 13 meters. Weight, 5 to 7 tons. Bite force, 1 ton. Speed, 25 kilometers per hour. Diet, fish and small dinosaurs. Okay, now to the weapons of Oxalaya. Oxalaya possessed a massive crocodilian body capable of swimming. It had a bite force of one ton, which is weak for its size, but still devastating. The jaws contained around 60 conical teeth. It had long, strong arms with 15 centimeter claws. Probably. We only have two jaw bones. That's it. Okay, now to the stats of Majungasaurus. Height, 2.5 meters. Length, 7 meters. Weight, 1.5 tons max. Bite force. It was pretty powerful like Carnotaurus, let's say one ton. Well, if you have no arms, something else has to give. Speed, 50 kilometers per hour. Diet, Raptos sorry, Raptosaurus and Majungasaurus itself. Gross. Now onto the weapons of Majungasaurus. Majungasaurus possessed a very muscular body, especially the legs and neck, which probably equated to a powerful bite. It used a technique similar to modern big cats, biting the neck and not letting go. It was likely a fast runner, but the sheer amount of muscle may have slowed him down. Unfortunately, like Carnotaurus, he had small arms and the hands were barely functional. Okay, now to the advantages of Oxalaya. Well, the first obvious advantage is its size. It's larger and four times heavier. It possessed strong arms with 15 centimeter claws. Majungasaurus barely had any claws. It likely possessed a large sail, which would make it look very intimidating. It also has an advantage in water. Now onto the disadvantages of Oxalaya. Oxalaya may have been larger, but it wasn't as aggressive as Majunga and lacked his hunting experience, being more adapted to an aquatic lifestyle. Oxalaya was likely slower and less agile than Majunga. Oxalaya possessed a large sail that could intimidate, but it was also vulnerable to attack. The sail was fused to its spine. If it got slammed by Majunga, the results would be devastating. Its bite wasn't as effective as Majunga's in battle. Okay, now to the advantages of Majunga. Well, he had more hunting experience. He was faster and more agile. His skull was well protected with thick bone. His bite was more devastating, especially if he can get to the neck. Now to the disadvantages of Majunga. Well, he's much smaller and lighter. He possessed tiny arms like Carnotaurus with non-functional hands. He was inexperienced in water. Okay, let's fight. Oxalaya and Majunga meet at a clearing. The ground is wet and swampy. Oxalaya is usually quite a passive dinosaur, but this Majunga is a threat to her fish supply, so she must act. She charges at Maj, hoping to scare him away. Maj is starving and about to eat his own tail, so unusually aggressive, he charges back. Both dinosaurs clash in the middle. Oxalaya slashes Maj in the face, but it has little effect. Maj bites Oxa's neck, not letting go, but Oxa breaks free, slashes Maj again. Oxa then spins around and whacks Maj using her tail, sending him flying across the swamp. Maj, wounded, retreats. Verdict. Well, normally, these two dinosaurs would probably avoid fighting, but if it came to it, Oxalaya would probably win, due to her massive size advantage. Plus, she possessed claws. Majungasaurus may be able to take down massive sauropods, but they don't possess claws to fight back, 
unlike Oxalaya. 80% goes to Oxalaya. Okay, so open up a new tab and type www.witchdino.com and vote for the next two dinosaurs to battle. And I will be looking at the results. Until next time, I've been Viral Killer. See you next time.